So you wanted to update or repair your flooring. You had ugly carpet and you pulled up your carpet and up under your carpet, you found this beautiful or not so beautiful hardwood. Uh, what are you gonna do with that? That changes everything. Hey guys, my name is Jake Marchand and I wanted to talk to you guys just a minute about um, how I handled this situation. I've personally actually come across this situation three times, four times so far in my w purchasing houses and renting them out. And I wanna let you know how I can handle it. Um, just to kind of start, there's two things you can do. The first thing you can do is go ahead and cover the floors, like put laminate or vinyl or carpet again if you wanted to, and go ahead and cover the floors. Um, this is usually a lot cheaper. Um, it's usually a lot easier, and it will protect your floors later on in the future. We all know hardwood floors are the most valuable, are very, very valuable. Um, so knowing that, uh, we definitely want to preserve uh, the integrity and the quality of our wood floors, no matter what we do. And the second option you could do would be refinishing the hardwood floors. Um, this is really labor intensive. I'm sure if you've done it a bunch of times, you wouldn't really have to worry about it. You'd be used to it, but this is extremely labor intensive. Um, you have to go, if you don't have the tools, you have to go and pick up a bunch of the tools or rent them. You got to get multiple types of floor sanders, corner and edge sanders, um drum sanders uh, you got to get you just have to have multiple things then the staining process is a molt staining and clear coating process is multiple days uh, but when you get done and as you will see in any beautiful house you know any million dollar house in the south or any really honestly any 300 plus thousand dollar house in the south you're going to see beautiful hardwood floors uh they're worth more they're really 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 durable but they may have a lot of upkeep a lot of uh, like you can repair it and stuff so that's your two basic options you can go ahead and like cover your floors up or you can go ahead and then refinish the hardwood um i'm gonna kind of give you three different scenarios the ones that i came across and tell you like which is the best for each situation so let's say my very first mistake on my very first house i purchased it and it had some ugly carpet i said i'm gonna paint the walls and then redo the flooring and then i'm gonna put this sucker up for rent well, in the process of redoing the flooring, uh, I pulled up the carpets and I found some not beautiful, but pretty decent hardwood that I thought I could change. So my whole entire plan changed from lay, tearing up the carpet and laying down laminate planks to basically uh, redoing the floors. And that took about, I don't even want to estimate the man hours because it took three solid 12 hour days, probably more than 12 hour days with two people. Um, I had to sand you have to sand and then you have to sand some more and then you have to start doing fine sanding then you have to start smoothing it then you have staining which takes multiple days to dry and multiple times and once you're done with all the staining you get the color you want uh you put on the clear coat and then once you get uh you put on the the urethane coat or whatever it is and once you finally get the urethane coat on two coats you go in to look at it and you realize dang i didn't sand enough and it looks crappy because it's not smooth <laughs> and then you rent it out and then it caught um the tenants don't respect it they drag their chairs all over it so whenever my tenants move out i'm gonna probably have to refinish the hardwood floors again i'm sure it'll be an easier process but um doing hardwood floors is a pain um it's the tenants don't respect it there's no reason the tenants need a ten thousand twenty thousand dollar hardwood floor when a $1,500 laminate floor would do them just fine and be a lot prettier in a lot of situations. Uh, laminate floor, you can just lay it right on top and it's really simple. Same thing with vinyl, same thing with carpet. So like if you're, if you're looking at the rental market, do not finish your hardwood floors, uh, refinish your hardwood floors. Um, the only instance I would do that would be an instant too. And this is out of the rental market. This is going to be like the people who just want to change their floors. Um, if you're going to resell your house, hardwood floors even if you don't take pictures of it and you just post the information on Zillow and Realtor and the MLS and all that, just the fact it says hardwood floors is going to command a certain price. Um, so if you're trying to either like flip your house, you bought a house and you're trying to flip it, or you're living in a house, you've been living in it for a while and you want to resell it in the next couple of years. If you re refinish your hardwood floors specifically for resale value, it's phenomenal. Um, and honestly, it's actually necessary. A lot of times, like if you're selling a $400,000 house in Alabama, the average house is 110, 120, and that house has laminate flooring, you got a problem. Like it's gonna look pretty slum lordy. So uh, refinishing the, so it's not useful if you're gonna rent it out to tenants, I would not do that. But if you're going to resale, flip, or essentially sell your, uh, eventually sell your house, it's phenomenal. Um, I would go ahead and refinish it, but it's a lot of work and you can easily do a couple weekends of work 
or you know 80 100 hours of work and then the end process looks horrible and you have to go get it redone professionally um so it's a really really big deal now let's just say like i said you're just um you're just a husband and wife or one of the two and then you just want to redo your floors and you have these ugly carpets that have been in forever and you just want to tear the floors up and put down, put it down you're just the average american um what i would do honestly 100 percent of the time is laminate flooring and i'm putting out vinyl and bamboo plank and luxury vinyl plank and and uh tile all that other stuff you know because you can do any of those those are just essentially the same thing just trade-offs in between like durability and cost and functionality and and appearance and stuff but like just for this example i'm gonna say just like you're laying vinyl plank i mean just lay in laminate plank costs like a dollar to a dollar fifty a square foot um if you want to update your floors and you tear it up and you set up pretty hardwood i would definitely go ahead and lay the line lay the the laminate plank um the reason i say that is number one you or your husband's probably not an expert floor layer and refinishing the floors is a huge job that as you probably know i now i can end up with a couple of problems and it really doesn't add anything to the like the functional value of your house that laminate won't um it's not really i mean yes it's a little more durable and yeah it has a lot of resale value but as far as just like you live in the house you're not really going to notice it um unless you're an expert it's not going to add anything to your life having hardwood floors it's um and also like i said in 10 years if something chips or something like that you can fix the laminate flooring you just tear up the piece you just actually you know, take up a couple pieces and refit them uh, another thing is in five years you let's say you paint you use gray oak floors and you paint the walls white so you have that modern look and in 10 years that modern look looks old and you want to go to brown floors and beige walls then you just go ahead and buy more laminate and you can actually lay it right on top of the old laminate you don't have to tear the old floors up you don't have to do anything you just lay it on top so like laminate is so easy you can it can be interchangeable for style but it's also extremely e easy just as far as um just the way it is the way it is to lay it down a husband and wife team can easily do it it doesn't require many tools a couple tapping blocks a saw um it doesn't really require much so if that sounds like you i would definitely go and just lay flooring on top of your hardwood and then like i said maybe in 10 years when the kids move out of the house or maybe in 10 years when you move to a bigger house when you have kids you can always have the option of laying new laminate <clears throat> i mean laying new yeah laying new flooring or you can go ahead and um, finish up your hardwoods if you're thinking about selling it. So it gives you the most options. It's the most versatile. It's honestly probably the best price. You know, it's the, it's going to be with the best price. You get totally new floors, totally different floors, any way you want. Uh, the quality of laminate now is just phenomenal. You know, they have laminate that's like you can put at the bottom of a fish tank um, and it would keep the water out. I mean, they just have phenomenal stuff. So. Uh, that's kind of my thoughts like i said if you pulled up your carpet and you have two different types of um i mean if you pulled up your carpet and you have some pretty hardwood floors you can really do two things you can refinish them or you can go ahead and cover them and for the landlord renting to the tenant or the average person i would cover them 99 percent of the times and really the only reason to finish them is if you just wanted to or you just wanted a project or you really wanted to add some value onto your house because you were going to sell it in the future or you lived in a log cabin and laminate floors wouldn't fit the log cabin theme or any something like that so i'm trying to think man there's not many reasons like my grand my aunt lived in a log cabin and uh laminate floors looked funny in that sucker so anywho that's kind of my 10 cents on that uh, i've done this actually with three or four houses so far so if you have any questions feel free to let me know um hit the hit the like button below if you don't mind just let me know if you like it and hit the dislike button if you don't either you can give me a certain direction and subscribe if you uh subscribe if you like this content my name is jake coming from the sun belt where it's not always sunny and i will talk to you guys shortly thank you